Hi boys and girls, good to see you all. I hope you had fun with James learning all about your heart and the fact that it is actually a muscle. All right, and just like our other muscles, we need to make sure it's working hard. So you're gonna have a, a bit of a workout with me today. I want you to try to have some fun, but always try to keep up and do your very best. Before we do do our circuit workout today, what we wanna do is warm up our muscles. All right, we need to make sure they're ready to move. So we're gonna start nice and easy, boys and girls. I wanna see if you can just run on the spot with me. Let's go. Try to keep your feet nice and fast. Arms up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Let's go. See if you can run faster than me. Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, stop. Good job. All right, next. We're gonna move our arms and legs in and out in our star jumps. So we're gonna get all the way up. One, two, let's do 10 together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten that's awesome well done now i reckon a lot of you boys and girls like to play soccer or football or something like that so i want to pretend i'm kicking balls as far as i can i'm going to swing my leg and kick one two three four five all right that was my right leg so i'm going to try with my left leg even harder we've got to balance one two three Four, five, good job. I hope you scored a few goals there. Next thing, we wanna get light on our feet like this. All right, I'm gonna see if I can run to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the front, ah! to the back, to the left, to the right, to the front, to the back, and stop. All righty, next thing. We're just gonna see if we can lift our leg up and around. And around, up and around, up and around. Now we're going to do the opposite. We close the gate. In, in, in. All right, now 10 jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! I'm feeling warmed up. Really important. We have our water with me. I've got a beautiful unicorn bottle here cold water. Have a drink and then we'll get back to station one. Alrighty, our muscles are nice and warm, our heart's ready to go and we're going to start our station uh, one. And this is part of our circuit. Today you're going to try to do five exercises with me that go for 30 seconds and then you get a 30 second break. Okay, so it'll be like a minute per station. If you can do it quite easily then you can try to make it a little bit longer or a little bit further. And we're going to try to write down how many of each exercise we can do. Alright, so I'm going to do star jumps for station one. And I'm going to have a timer for 30 seconds. If your mum or your dad or your brother or your sister can help you with this, that'd be great. I've got my friend James here who's going to help me today. He's behind the camera and he's also going to help me stay on track. Alright, I reckon I could probably do maybe 30 star jumps in 30 seconds. Let's find out. Alright, James, are you ready? Yes. All right, I've got my timer here on my phone, but if you have a helper, that's probably even easier. Ready, set, go. That's 10. That's 20. Stop. And stop. I think I've got about 35. How did you go? Maybe you can now write down your score on a piece of paper. And we want to see if next week when you try this, you've improved. We're always trying to do our personal best. Maybe get your brother or your sister to see if they can do as well as you have. Great job. Have your little break. Get some more water and then we'll do our second exercise in just a minute. Okay, boys and girls, you're doing great so far. So for our second station, I'm gonna make it a lot harder for you. We're gonna see if we can go for a whole minute. We're gonna do two exercises and then we're gonna do them back to back. So you're gonna do 30 seconds of high knees. So when we do high knees, we don't wanna be like this. I want you to go all the way up like this for 30 seconds. Then when you get to 30 seconds, my friend here, James, again, is gonna say switch it for me. And I'm gonna switch my movement 
to a, a butt kick or a heel kick all the way back like this. Again, I don't want to do lazy movements. I want a nice full range. Okay. Do you think you can do a minute? I hope so. I think you can do it. I don't know that I can do it. I'm pretty old, but you young people out there, you should be fit and strong and ready to go. Alrighty. Whew. I got my timer here again for a minute, but I also have my helper, which if you do have, is probably going to make it a bit easier for you. All right, James, are you ready for me? Yes. All right, ready and go. Keep going, keep going. 10 more seconds. Ready, steady, change. Uh, 82. 82, high knees. Come on, keep going. Nearly there, five seconds. Woo. Woo. We got 79 heel kickers in. My heart's working hard. Everyone try to find your heart or what we call our pulse. And with your other hand, I want you to show me how quick yours is beating. Mine's going this fast. Which means I had a really good workout for my heart. If you can't quite do them back to back, try the high knees, have a break, find your heart, rest, and then go again with those heel kickers. See if you can beat my score, 82 for high knees and 79 heel kickers. Good luck, well done. Hi boys and girls, I'm back. All right, I've had a little bit of a rest after all those high knees and heel kickers, and my heart has been working so hard. All right, now I wanna have a, a different sort of exercise now that's gonna test the other muscles in my body. And we're going to be doing a move that you've probably all heard of called push-ups. All right, but we have different ways to do push-ups and you need to see which one you can do. All right, the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to do a push-up with a full movement. Now, if you can do this, you can try it. If not, don't worry. You can try to build up to it. So when I do it, I'm going to start on my hands and toes like this. And I have to see if I can just bend at my elbows till my chest touches the floor and I push all the way up, nice and strong through my arms. If I can't quite do that, and that's okay, we're allowed to have our knees on the floor and we can just push up. It makes it a little bit easier. If you still can't quite do that one, let's see if you can do something that I call up, up, down, down. So you're gonna go like this and then you go one, two, three, four. Up, up, down, down. Okay, last option. If you've got a chair in your backyard or something that you can lean on, it might make it a bit easier. I'm in the park today, so we're gonna try and use this bench. And I'm gonna put my hand here, and I lean down, and I push all the way up. Okay. All right, so maybe have a go at all of those and see which one that you wanna to try today. And then we're gonna see if we can do our push-ups for 30 seconds again. If you can't quite make 30 seconds, you might have to have a little break. All right, maybe do five and have a rest and go again. It's a really tricky one, this one. Challenge your dad, see how he goes, okay? Or your mum, your mum might be stronger than your dad, who knows? Let's give it a go. I'll see if I can do 30 seconds of push-ups. I don't know if I'll make it. All right, you get my timer again. This is like, Superhero training, this one. See how you go. Get big muscles like your favorite superhero. Alrighty. And if you have got a helper who's helping you count or time, they can also be your trainer. If you feel like quitting, they can maybe encourage you to keep going. I'm hoping James will help me get through my 30 seconds. Ready? You can do it, Rob. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
Keep going, you're halfway. Great job. So strong, Rob. That's okay, keep going. Stop. Oh, I think I got 32. This might be Superman calling me to check in on my training. It, it is Superman. It is Superman. <laughs> Answer the phone to Superman. All right, I'll have to call him back. Thank you, sir. Okay, how did you go with those push-ups? Hopefully you did lots of them. Got into your uh, superhero training. All right, so we've got good muscles like a superhero now. I want to see if you can have as much speed as some of those guys, all right? You're gonna have a little bit of zip in your step and we're gonna be doing what we call a shuttle run. Now I've got two colored cones here, but at home you might not have these, so you can use whatever you can find. It might be uh, two shoes or a couple of rocks or some trees in the backyard that you can run in between. As long as you use the same uh, distance each time so we know if you're improving. So I'm gonna put one cone down here and then I'm gonna take 10 big steps all the way out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And I put my other marker down. All right, now I need to do my 30 seconds again. And I wanna see how many times I can get from cone to cone. So I can get from here to there, that is worth one point. Again, I'm gonna have James uh, helping me. Boys and girls, when you run, we wanna see if we can start with one foot forward and our opposite arm forward. We say opposite arm, opposite leg. And we have L-shaped arms like this and high knees. All right, and we wanna be up on the balls of our feet, not flat on our feet or on our heels or up on our tippy toes, but just like this, okay? James, are you ready to time me? Yep. I don't have my time as Four, three, two, one, go. Come on, faster. Pump the arms. Oh. Nearly slipped. Come on, 10 more seconds. You can do two more. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Woo. That was, uh, I think I got 10 in 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, good effort. You can feel my heart working really fast. Make sure you've got some good shoes on so you don't slide over like I did. Good luck. See if you can beat my 10. All right, guys. So we've done lots of stuff already. We've done our push-ups for strength, shuttle runs for speed. And our last one is going to be for some speed as well. We're going to be doing some skipping today. And I'm going to show you two things that we can do for our skipping part of our circuit. Or uh, I'm actually in the shade now. If you've got a nice shady area at home, it's probably a good idea. So you don't get too hot, the sun's not on you too much because you are working really hard today. Remember to drink your water as well. If you do have a skipping rope at home, maybe it's a good idea now to pause the video, find your skipping rope, come back and get it ready. If you're using a skipping rope, we like our rope to be measured halfway between and all the way up to your armpits. Now this rope's too small for me. This would be a good size for maybe you guys at home. And when we skip, we're gonna be doing a nice easy skip today where we start with the rope behind our legs and our arms in front. And as it comes over, we're just jumping that rep. Okay, I do a little jump in between. So one, two, one, two. All right, if you can go a little faster, you might not need to do that little jump in between. Oh, and I've hit the rope. All right, so do it at your speed that you're comfortable with. If you don't have a rope, I want you to find something that you can jump over. Now it might be, I've used my rope here, or it could be the cone that I had, or it might be even my drink bottle that I've been using. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. Let's use a drink bottle, because I know you all have one of those. All right, what we're gonna try to do is what we call a skier jump. Now, if you're lucky enough to have ever been skiing, Sometimes when you go down the hill, your arms are back like this and you go nice and fast. So that's how we want to be today. We go forward, down, down, down. So I'm jumping high and swinging my arms. All right, 30 seconds of skier jumps. It's gonna be tricky, but I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see if you can beat 
my score. All right, you with me? Let's go into this position. Ready to start, knees bent, light on our feet. Let's go, that's one, two, three. You can go faster four. than that, Rob. Don't go too fast, you wanna go nice and deep so you're feeling your legs work hard. This is hard actually, James. I'm... You're doing well though. Thank you. Oh, how much longer have I got, sir? Got 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Five. There you oh. go. I lost count of my jumps. That was silly of me. Can you tell me how many I got? You got, uh, you got 17, Rob. 17. We'll check if James is right. I don't think he knows. <laughs> Let me know if he was correct. How about you guys write down your score now and see if you can improve next week. Alrighty, good job. Okay, you made it through the circuit. Well done, guys. You've done your superhero training for the day. You've made your heart stronger. You've made your arms stronger, your chest, your legs, even your bottom. All right, all those muscles in your body have worked really hard today. When you finish, really important. Again, I've got my lovely unicorn water. I need to rehydrate. Ah, that was much needed. And remember to eat healthy food as well. You need to fuel your body. Maybe see if mum and dad can make you a healthy snack now so that you can get your energy back. If any of those exercises you found really hard, you can substitute them or change them for something that you like to do instead. You might have five of your own exercises and you can create your own little circuit and get your family members to try it, all right? Or challenge your classmates. Keep up the great work and remember our heart is a muscle and it's the most important one we have. So again, I've just finished my ski jumps and it's working hard. It's like lifting weights for my heart. Keep up the great work, guys. We'll see you back in school soon. Have a great day, bye.